Now let's talk about the India election. One phase of polling done, six more to go. It will be a long summer for political leaders who are campaigning across the country and making their pitch to the voters. They now have to contend with a new and disruptive force, something that some of them are also trying to co-opt. I'm talking about artificial intelligence, deep fakes. They're causing all kinds of chaos. AI is being used to spread fake news, resurrect dead politicians, and even fabricate endorsements. It is rampantly being used to influence unsuspecting voters, and it seems the regulators have no idea of how to tame this new beast. Our next report explains. What do Amir Khan, Ranveer Singh, Narendra Modi, and Rahul Gandhi have in common? On first impressions, not much. But in recent months, they've all been targets of deep fakes. Videos of Amir Khan and Ranveer Singh were used to conjure up fake endorsements. जो भारतवर्ष है अब अन्याय काल की तरफ ऐसे बढ़ रहे हैं। A few weeks ago, Prime Minister Modi was complaining about fake videos featuring himself, while Rahul Gandhi's face has been morphed repeatedly along with other opposition leaders for campaign ads. खाने की हमें खाना नहीं आता थे। Some of these deep fakes were easy to recognize, but every instance highlighted a disturbing fact. Each of these clips was watched by millions before they were flagged. And in several instances, many of these videos are still online. A flood of deep fakes is hitting India's election season. The scale of it is hardly shocking. Nearly 1 billion people are eligible to vote in this election. And almost 900 million Indians have access to the internet. Given this scale and reach, internet spaces in India have become a battleground for political parties to fight for votes. And AI tools are now quickly becoming the most formidable weapon in the hands of politicians. The technology is widely available and inexpensive to use, but that's not the most compelling reason for politicians to access AI. AI-powered campaigns are giving politicians their most sought-after asset, attention. Voters aren't just noticing AI-driven political ads, they're also absorbing and engaging with its message. For Congress leaders like Vijay Vasanth, AI tools have successfully revived the memories of his father, the late H. Vasantha Kumar. Back in the day, he was a popular politician. His son has used the AI-generated voice of his father to stir up nostalgia and seek votes. More politicians from the South have used the same tactic, like Tamil Nadu's DMK and AIA DMK. They have used AI to reproduce the voices of their leaders like Karunanidhi and Jailalita. In eastern India, the left took the AI campaigning one step further. Instead of a fake voice, they used a fully AI-generated news anchor for their campaign efforts. There is a barrage of AI-generated political content across all major internet platforms, with little being done to contain it. The vulnerabilities have been highlighted by the tech giants themselves. A few weeks ago, Microsoft warned how countries like China and North Korea may target the Indian election and use AI to influence votes. Leading developers have responded by limiting access to political content on their AI apps. But so far, it hasn't been enough. In the absence of clear regulations to monitor AI systems, India's election will remain a playground for deepfakes.